It's a building known by many names, has affected many lives, and its future is still uncertain. But for the next couple of months, 10 artists will be using the Kirkbride, the former Fergus Falls State Hospital, as inspiration for their work. Valley News Team's Macy Anger met the first people taking part in the program and found out what they hope to create. A lot of the people here did not have the opportunity that I have. And I guess I feel a responsibility to tell some of those stories of the people who, who called this place home. My name is Nick Nurburn, and I'm from Bemidji, Minnesota. For almost a week, Nurburn has been staying on the campus of the Kirkbride building. Everyone wants to know if it's scary and if I see ghosts. And it's not scary, and I don't see ghosts. He plans to put together a short documentary in his five-week stay. You can really illuminate a bigger picture if you focus on something really small. So, so far, I've been focusing on the graveyard. It's a project he took on after applying for the Hinge Arts program. The goal? is to see the potential of the grounds. He's not the only artist taking a part of this program. One of the other artists who's been here for a few months now already has some of her work on display. You can see it by just driving along I-94 and glancing at that billboard. My name is Shandra Glazeman and I'm from Portland, Oregon. Glazeman is creating a land art project. For now, it's an idea one that isn't inspired from the actual building. Not in as much as like the, the people and the patients, but the philosophy behind it. I want people to kind of understand this idea of cause and effect. Everything that we put out into the world has some sort of like effect on something. In the next couple weekends, her project should start to take form. And even though their stay is short, both will leave their mark in hopes that others will do the same. In Fergus Falls, Macy Inger, Valley News Live. Claysman is also working on a pop-up museum featuring work from community members dealing with hardships. It will be displayed the first week of May at the Ottertail Historical Society. The first viewing of the documentary is set for September.